welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I'm going to play some more Inscription Casey's mod. So I can get started. I want to do the Mantis God and Ringworm challenge again. And let's see what we can throw at it here. Um, I need to get 80 points total, so I don't think I need to worry about pricey pelts so much. Um, tip skills, I don't know. Maybe we'll do more difficult instead of that, but I could do that and then keep pricey pelts turned off. Okay, let's try it. More difficult. I don't know if it's easier to select that or some of the other ones, but we'll just give it another try. I've got the rough strategy practiced a couple times that we'll just keep going with it. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, we could get a mantis and a millworm so that we could boost up something along the way. I think it'll do that. Corpse maggots um, may be nice to have later on. So let's make the fire our priority for right now. We'll just alternate bringing power to one of the ringworms until we get it to pass away. And then we'll just have a buff ringworm. Well, that didn't take long. Now we can start buffing up our mantis god. As a matter of fact, on the right woods path, it looks like there's another um, area to use it, so that's pretty excellent. Okay. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, we'll put down our other mantis. Interesting that it didn't um, do a uh, designation offer there. I guess it was because it was one turn away. Interesting. Okay, don't need autumns that bad. I think I'll just head up here to the fire and we'll start giving some more power to our mantis god. Um, double strike and put it on the Mantis God like I've seen uh, some other people using that strat so it does sound like a decent idea well let me put this normal Mantis right here and we'll take out the Dire Wolf pup God to go ahead and get us started here. Could actually put it in front of the wolf butt so it would have lasted, no problem. That's okay. Oh, we're gonna get the excess damage if we can, buddy. I think it's gonna break even though. Well, maybe not. Um, let's see. Well, we could get Mantis God out of here and have the, uh, Dire Wolf, but we'd have to sacrifice all three, so I think it's not going to make much of a difference, actually, now that I look at it. Yep, just a couple teeth out of the way. And that lane blocked by that stomp was uh, our main problem there. Hey, Limmergeier. Um, I think I'll get it, because I don't think I'll be needing a whole lot of bone in my current setup if I want to focus on insects anyways. Okay. Um, sure, let's do the Mantis God and put it on the, um, or the Dire Wolf and put it on the Mantis God and see how it goes. I'm only going to get one of them now, so it's not going to resurrect or anything. I guess there's a chance that I could get a card and uh, I'd love to do that with a separate one if I get it cloned. Alright, I guess it's time for another Mantis God. Surprise! But you didn't see that one coming. Okay. Put down our Mantis. <laughs> Alright. And a Millworm. Oh, 
blazing through it right now. Let's see if we can keep this up. Um, let's see. Having the mantis on the flamer guard would be kind of interesting, but I don't see a big need for it. So let's head to the fire instead, and maybe we'll get us a uh, power buff for our mantis god. Ah, of course, maggots. Delicious. Alright, well, we could keep buffing the mantis god, or we could buff up our mill worm um, to give it a better chance of staying around. Kind of hate to give the mantis god all that health, but I mean, with 9 health, it would be able to stand 2 shark attacks, so maybe it would be good to have that in time for a boss fight. Okay, um, let's put the morsel of this on, hmm, this is not a good set to have to make a decision on. Hmm, may I'm tempted to use Lamer Guy and just put it on the Mantis and we'll keep buffing up that Mantis, so why not? That way it can also be used to uh, sustain damage on the sharks, or not damage, but um, hit the bait buckets without making the sharks come out. That's what I mean, mean to say. Okay. Alright, coyote time. Let's see. out the ringworm so that we could get corpse maggots on the board. That'd be something. Um, millworm could actually go down first and then the corpse maggots. Well, they're not actually a sacrifice of it though. So I guess let's start with the ringworm sitting in front of the coyote. I should put a mantis on top of my next draw. Yeah, I was going to say that should be about all I have left. Um, However, the problem with this situation is um, it'll get me to the next phase, but I will lose it. So we're going to have to like rely on our, um, other guy to uh, get the job done for us. Okay. So we are going to have to have this this carry this plus whatever is inside of the pack deal. Hopefully we'll be able to get it busted open in time, or we may just lose this. Uh, I think I'll do the teeth pull and um, use every card we can to get ahead in the situation. So, here we go. Actually, with the Mantis, I won't be able to uh, use it other than for... Oh, Coyote moved in front of it. Very clever. So, yeah, that's a problem. Um, I don't think that I'll be able to win this. So that is going to be a quick game over. Um, we'll go ahead and let it play through, but I think that that's going to be it for me. Um, can't do a lot of damage there, but our Mantis is going to get lost. It's gonna, we just won't be able to get damage on the board in time. So it's a sound to uh, squirrel attacks. <laughs> we'll, we'll let it play out this room. Larry to get all. <laughs> wow. I guess I burned my cards just a little too quickly. Man. You know I shouldn't have gotten rid of uh, some of my more accessible cards. I guess that's the learn. I probably have to hold on to like a two blood something more resilient than just mantises. Wow. What is this thing burn? But I lost it in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> Let's try again. Maybe um, maybe getting a totem would be a wiser decision too. Alright. Okay. Well, we're going to trade in two cards, shall we, as well. So... Um, maybe we'll get a better set than last time. Oh, great white. 
starts on a bad idea. Um, having its water borne on the Mantis God would make it more or less undying as well. Wouldn't have to worry about health. I could put the health on other cards. Um, maybe I'll do that. That might be a wise decision. And let's get us a, a wolf, a good mid-tier card too. We'll go ahead and start using our round worms as bait to use uh, attackers. So. Alright, come on, please burn. Yes. I was worried that we were going to get another super buff round worm situation. Mantis God to come out. I actually have a great mic to save up for too. If I can come up its power in this next fire, we'll be in a good situation, I think. Okay, let's see. Well, no, neither of these are really worth playing. Um, I could get an alpha just to start getting some damage on the board there, so I think we'll do that. We should draw the mantis pretty quickly. Shouldn't win the match for us. Great. Alright. Time to head to the fire. Hey, a worker ant that can be sacrificed repeatedly. Well, that's excellent. Similar situation to before, do I really want to get the Mantis God going again, or should I bust something else? Like, huh, maybe I should keep it getting buffed, because if I do get unkillable on it, then I'll make it linger for a long enough time that it will be really big pain to try to stop it. Alright. Time for the Mantis God again. It has 9 health, so it'll be pretty tough to get ahead of it, I think. But I said that last time, and yep, now I'm in trouble because a skunk is heading my way. <laughs> what an easy way to defuse my evil monster here. That's why we need to get our um, strength up for stinky issues like this. Sacrifice the wolf to put an alpha down. It's alright, Mushy. Let's see how this turns out. Alright, we'll do this and we will put down our alpha and that'll give us a decent amount of damage on the board. Okay, I think it may have worked out to roughly the same now I think about it. At least not much more than what it would have been. Alright, let's do a three blood dire wolf. Uh, two sacrifices in a row to decide on. Uh, that's not good. I have a lot of cards. Um, so, could have a 
Make this god that buffs others and then great light putting its abilities on the dire wolf. I think that I'll do something like that. That would be interesting. Because that kind of makes everything attack along with it, you know. I know I was talking about getting a killable earlier, but it already has nine health, so why not? Um Yeah, let's see. Maybe putting the dire wolf its abilities on the great light instead would make more sense. Or I could transfer it down to this regular wolf and just buff its health when I get a chance and it would be comparable to a dire wolf or actually surpass it. Um, but it's great light being the same cost. I think I'll pass it down to the wolf level. So it already is more damage, just less health. Less health, so maybe at the next fire event we will um, boost it up. Okay. Hopefully I'm not going to run into the same exhaustion of cards here that I did in the previous one because I just didn't get enough collected. Okay. I guess worker hand looks like our first good uh, sacrifice card out here. I mean, not sacrifice, but first good card to play. Sacrifice four. Okay. So I need to get something else going. Um, I would suppose our smoke would be good. And I'll actually put now the Mantis God first and then the smoke. There we go. This Mantis God would wake up both of them. I think I'd rather wake up just one of them. So, let's see. I think it would make some more sense. There we go. And we may actually win it with just that one. No, it'll take two turns. Okay. That's okay. This one. Didn't like how close that one got actually. Gotta get me a uh, totem built soon, or else I think I'll be in trouble. Alright, cockroach. That's what we want. We'll have to use it on something else, but it's fine by me. Okay, a black goat, a mantis, and a pronghorn. Um, I'm going to take the black goat and I will put unkillable on it so that we can get lots of blood. And I could get a sigil started by going up this way and have at least something constructed by the end of it. So let's go for it. Alright, insect head. Good. Hopefully we'll get us a good bottom piece for... Uh, Feeding it, making powerful totem. Okay. Mantis God can get on the board and make the snowy fur and attack vehicle. I think that would be fun. Okay. Alright, and let's see. Another ring. Ooh, Field 
nicer opportunity to be interesting. Um, Pronghorn and Lemur Dyer. I wonder what putting opportunity on any of these would turn into. I don't see anything in particular that'd be interesting. Maybe on the worker ant, but it already has its own sigil, so don't, don't walk out. Um, sacrifice it so kind of don't know if Lamar Dyer is worth it though. It's a lot to uh, get it on the board and you have to keep a lot of bones to make it have you know good attack strength. So hmm. I don't know. Let's do the field mice just in case it's fecundity pays off in some way. Ah, there's a duplicate of it over there. That stinks. I'm glad that had Second one. Oh, stinky. Um, stinky insects. Yeah. That makes the mantis god that much harder to stop. And a stinky ringworm. Got it. Okay. either, so that's not a good situation to be in. Wild bulls want to go on a tear as well, so I guess about the best I could do is just wait a turn, but that would be a loss, so I need to slow down the wild bull to have a chance here, I think. Um, fortunately, I think the cards are against me on this one. I may very well lose again, so yeah. Yeah, there's nothing I, I could have done. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we lost that one, so. Ah, still got another candle. It's going to be hard in the boss fight without having a uh, smoke card. Tricky, tricky. Ah, Wolverine's power would be good on Mantis as well. Okay, let's make something immortal. Um, perhaps our black goat. That would help us get the great white on other things. I'm trying to think of. I guess that, that could help us ramp up to level two cards and three blood cards as well. And four, of course. So maybe it'll be worth it. Always hard to tell in situations like these. Hey, looks like we can get our um, great white on the board right away. The moose buck's gonna be a pain, but we can take out the mole. And I think we'll have enough damage on the board after that to be okay. There we go. Unfortunately, Moosebuck has no power to take out my Great White in one swipe. Okay. Let's get this guy. Alright, Mantis God. Excellent. Actually, we have nine health, so this would be good. And we just boosted up our great white, so we may actually win already. So that's only eight damage in one turn. Yep. Wow. Having that alpha on the mantis god has um, actually been a pretty big help. Two of a kind. Three sigils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sigils. Let's do three sigils. All right, sweet. I wonder if I would have worn two of a kind. That was my first instinct. Oh, I worn with fecundity, so that would help us generate rabbits. So it would pay itself off, but not really do anything. So I don't see that being very useful. Um, now this guy might be okay 
the wild bull with trinket bearer sounds like the best and it has bifurcated attack too and i do need autos so let's give it a try uh, i really like our black coat so we'll take them and i have no duplicates interesting um i can't remember what they give you if you don't have a duplicate it seems like they give you a little something but I think I'd rather go the buff route here. Yeah, it's for my perfect. Okay, um, let's buff up our Mantis God. Get it to three. Nice. Pretty sure when you get to three, you're nigh unstoppable. I can actually, in this one turn, take out to these guys, turn them into traps. If only I'd drawn the right card. Um, our worker ant can slow one of these guys down if it's sneakiness. Being sacrificed multiple times, so that could give us a ringworm down, which is also sneaky. And that would line us up for most of what we need to get our great wide on the board. Hate to use our great wide against looping trap, so. Instead, of take out these strange frogs, I guess. There we go. And that'll be it for now. There we go. Perfect. Now I can just keep drawing until I get the cards that I want. this strange frog here, but, um, let's see, we also have this wolf, so we can wait another turn, we can take out rabbit, and another one, we don't have to worry about these strange frogs, taking out the card, but don't really use the wolf help, so I think instead I'll put the mantis god down, and, uh, it'll be able to survive the dire wolf pup, anyways, so, let's go with that. unfortunate. Let's get our wolf down. Either way, it'll be a big enough asset to be worth having. Yep, even with the stinky, it still gets you. Hey, we got a wolverine now. Nice. I think we'll save up until we can get our um, great white on the board. Or maybe not. here. We'll call it a day. Okay. I think our Wolverine can get on the board now. Um, so, let's just do it. Yep. Our Wolf won it for us anyways. I think moving the bifurcated attack down to a card that was uh, a little bit less expensive was a Good move. Okay. Let's see. I kind of feel like getting the Mantis and 
putting it ability on something else. Um, either worker ant or maybe the field mice. But it might be good to have another one blood card ready to go. And maybe I can start buffing it, put something unique on it too. Um, in case I run into a couple of fires. Let's see, what do we have? Can't tell what's in our path. Um, I do have stinky bugs and it's working out okay so far. Could get a pack rat if I go to the left. Let's see what we get here though. Oh, another ant. Um, an ant queen. Would be nice to spawn another ant as well. Um, or I could just stick with these face worker ants. I think I'll do that. And let's see, there's a sigil swap up ahead. Um, the mantis getting its power put on, say maybe a wolverine could be pretty nice because it can maybe kill two things at once and that would give it a lot of a boost. And our fecundity put on a worker ant or a mantis might be interesting. Huh. Got a decent amount of teeth, but they're gonna be pricey, so I think I wanna go to the left. It'd be nice to stop by here and get some pack rat as well. I think I oh I see a fight up ahead. I thought it was a fire, but it was actually a fight. Okay then. Alright, stinky mantis. And we have a stinky pronghorn coming in. All the stinkies. Um, fortunately, it's not a good situation for us. Mantis can get in a little bit of hits, but not much. And lose it pretty quickly. So I could sit it here and just hit on the boulder, but it's not really going to do as much good. Um, I do have a ringworm that I could play on the second row and that would stop the pronghorn from being able to attack though. So I think that's what I'll do is we will put down a mantis here that's stinky and then our um, ringworm will go in in the next turn. Okay. Assuming things don't change too much. Yep. Now we'll put down our ringworm, and we can just uh, attack for a little bit. Oh, the elk fawn is coming in. So we'll go ahead and get this so we'll be ready to use it when time's right. Oh man, they worked herself into a corner here. And that means we can get our mantis god on the board. <laughs> Excellent. I don't think that this will really be stoppable, from what I can tell. Um, yeah. Wow. Obliterated them. And we have a sticky worker ant now, too. Dang. <laughs> So it'd grow up to be a mantis god. That sounds even sweeter though. So I think I'll take it. We'll add some div diversity to our portfolio too, so. Alright. I think I want to stay with Stinky, but we'll grab the canine head and I think that we have more insects, so we'll stick with stinky insects for now. Thank you. fire event missed. Alright, coyote, rabbit, and porcupine. Hmm. I feel like maybe I should get the wolf out and uh, let this 
game be over quickly. In fact, I think I will go ahead and do that since I have my black code here that I can take out at any time. I'm gonna put it right over here. Not that it really matters since we're gonna get six damage anyways. Okay. Ooh, let's see. I guess let's take the raven egg for its uh, fledgling. Okay, I could duplicate something and I saw that there was a fungus event up higher, so I think that we'll do Mantis God and it's super strong, so if we could get the two of them side by side, it would just be game over. Three and seven, yeah, that's practically no difference there. Um, I think I have two wolves, so if I do, I'll go to the fungus event. If I don't, I may go the other way and do a power up event. Okay, um, let's see, we can get our worker ant on the board and our mantis, thanks to the sacrifice ability of that worker ant. And that'll be three damage on the board right away, first turn. But two, actually, since we're playing with damage already on us. And let's see. I should have put down the frozen possum now that I think about it. That probably would have been a wise decision. Our elk pawn doesn't have a safe place to deploy. So I'm going to draw from here. We got us a great white, which could eliminate that row. Um, so I think sacrificing our worker ant for that would be a good decision. Right? Um, not that it matters, because we can just do that, right? And um, we could get the help find down to do extra damage on the board to help out even though we know we're going to lose it. Oh, actually I miscalculated again. Just a minute. I thought we were going to be one off there or something. Alright. So we do have worker ants. Um, we could sacrifice them for quite a while if we double them up to have four health. Um, I wonder if that's our only duplicate card. I think I skipped getting the wolf earlier. I thought I may have gotten it, but I didn't. And yeah, there's something else. So I could go buff something again. I could have a buff worker in it. That could be sacrificed if I remember. I think I'll go this route. That should be a health buff anyways. Hey, there's just a wolf. Just like we were asking for earlier. tempting and because its power grows we could have the raven egg attack more as well or one cost mantis i'm just always a little bit leery of them though um mantis god i think has plenty of power as is both of them so to say just let's go with the wolverine so wolves could be combined up and having something that uses bone that's more viable would be really nice um, or a black goat that can attack and come back from the dead over and over have two attack power hmm. that does come at a cost you know Let's do the Wolverine. If it can kill and its first swipe on the board, um, get something more powerful and come back with even more attack power, that's great. Alright, we have a Raven now, and as far as amphibians go, I don't think we have one. Let's just do this. We already know what we're going to take anyways. Oh, I guess a nice wolf to go with this as 
bloodlust. That's not a good situation. We can get our wool up forward and take us to the next phase pretty quickly. Um, actually, you're out of way, so I'm trying to think if there's any reason we might want to not do that. Um, well, we could play our possum and block that wool for a little bit. Um, that might be our spine's decision for now. We can get this other wolf in front of the pack mill to empty out its cards. So that way we don't go to the next phase hurting for cards. I think that'll be a good idea. Oh, well, duh. I did it again. I did not think that one through. I meant to wait until the next turn, but at least we got a possum out of it. So it's not a total, total loss here. <laughs> Um, really need to get in here and find our um, mantises though if we're going to have a chance of it. Okay. Come on, mantis. Alright, melt fawn. Um, I don't think that's worth taking the possum out for. Okay. down and it would be able to take out the wolf cub, um, both of them. That plus four hit is going to hurt me pretty badly. So I might need to put down worker ant sacrificially and I could get the elk fawn on the board too. Don't want those wolf cubs hanging on so let's put down our worker ant and I guess our mantis situation here would be good. Not stupid elder bloodhound moving around, forgot about that. So maybe our ringworm so that that's what gets killed instead would be better. And yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's the best we can ask for. Is, um, really gotta draw card or else we're going to be in long term. Alright, good. This was um, definitely what I was hoping to see. So, we could pair that up next to the worker ant. I think it will give us all the power we need to uh, finish this out. Okay, good. That's getting way too close for comfort. squirming. Alright, wild bull, dire wolf with double strike, or skunk. Don't really need skunk. So, hmm, double strike. Could we use that somewhere? Maybe on the great white. Or, let's see. Maybe on the raven egg as well. That'd be interesting because it would do, I think, four damage once it's out on the board. Or we could use a mantis and that would make it strike in front of it. Hmm. I assume it would. I don't know with a mantis if it would strike forwards or not. That's interesting to ponder. Um. Wouldn't mind getting rid of the elk fawn. Not doing a sacrifice for it. Let's put. I guess let's take the dire wolf one way or another. Whether we sacrifice it or not, we'll see. Oh wow. Those fights went by so quickly, I didn't realize we were already here. Um, okay, I don't have any pelts, so nothing to do in that regard. Um. I'm happy with my totem. I don't really have items. I could do maybe a sigil swap. Let's see. Um, about bifurcated strike on something a little bit stronger, like a worker ant, 
perhaps would be that could be nice. It's not a fungal event, or I could put it on the Wolverine and get double strike. This leaves me so few cards though. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't my best hand ever, I would say. So Pack rat's ability on say the mantis might be smart so I can get an item for cheaper. That might prevent me from having a bad cycle here. Um I'd only get one for the round, however. It wouldn't be necessarily on a particularly strong card either. So maybe I could put it on the field mice. And that way, maybe get two items. I'm not positive though. We'll see how that carries over or not. Fingers crossed, yeah. All right, final boss time. I think it's maybe the first time I made it this far with the uh, ringworm and mantis god combo. And uh, it's definitely quick. I mean, I lost. I think once or twice already now, and I'm already here at 48 minutes in, so it only took me like 37 for this run. And uh, if we don't get it today, we'll try it in another stream, but let's see. Alright, Amalgam coming in already. So, um, Worker Ant could go down and that would block Mole Man. So, I'm trying to think of if there's any reason to wait. I think it will just have to do that. Okay. Alright, we gotta start searching our deck for uh, good pieces here. And I could go ahead and blow the fan so that we get our tooth advantage up so they can't even spit. But, well, darn it, it's gonna be blocking it. Anyways. That's so funny. Um, smoke down so that we get damage block. However, I'm trying to think of maybe I could get the wild pool down. It's not stinky though. That's a lot of problem here. Hmm. It'll kill the mole man, but it will rain down the amalgam. Come down and be okay. And I can mirror it for the real one. So let's just do that as well. And I'll slow it down. I think that kind of unlocks the man. Oh, mommy, I uh, <laughs> totally wasn't paying attention to Hospital again. I think I'm getting too excited for the whole process here. And fortunately, I think that we're at a loss now. Um, used up too many of my cards. And I think I want to adjust a little bit too. I really don't like tip scales, so let's do something like these, and that'll get us up to 80. And now we don't have tip scales to worry about. That just sets you at such a big disadvantage. It's easy to lose, and um, I think one more difficult is manageable. It's two more difficult that are so hard. Okay. So let's focus on insects again. We'll do ants and mantises if we can stick with them. And I think I could put the ant queen on the flying ant and that would be cheaper. So let's go that way. I don't see a big reason to uh, keep it just because it has a little bit more health. 
Having an ant army. This is going to be nice. Okay. Mantis God has a nice hiding spot behind the stump to last for a little while. Maybe I should have got the goat. I'm not sure. So good. Nice. It's hard to stop the rent the ant rush. Rent rush. Okay. Um let's head up and do I think our first wood carver stop. I don't want to go too far without having something started. Alright, no worries. Good. with them. Okay, well, I think I'll take that because that could help us, you know, keeping a rush of ants coming off the board or just anything really. Hopefully we'll be able to get us a super buff um, situation going with the, um, one of the mantis pods. Or the Mantis God, if we don't get to do a duplicate. Oh man, we've got an adder incoming now. Those are always lame. Go ahead, take my ringworm. Meant a lot to me. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and break the glass for the squirrel. I'll take our revenge against the adder. How dare you, adder? How dare you? Oh dear. I think we're gonna have to pull a tooth here in a second. And we will block damage from the skink. I think that might win it for us. Okay. Good. And they didn't want to lose our Mantis God to the adder again. Just always stinks losing cards over and over. Okay. Another millworm. Who would have guessed it? Alright, let's buff up this ringworm. Oh my. Um, now we have two strong ringworms. <laughs> I'm starting to think that these uh, fire events are only playing in my favor so far. Strangely. Alright, I don't think I have any amphibians. Um, I don't play with them very often. Let's go with the um, deer head again. 
Pronghorn. I think it's Pronghorn family. I forget what they call it for this game. They call them tribes or something. This is the analogy that they use. Okay. Kingfisher. Sounds like getting some ants started might be a perfect situation here. So don't hit the bait buckets. Ooh, okay. This isn't an ideal situation. Um, however, we have just enough that I can win in one turn, anyways. Flying ant doesn't want to hurt anything. So, I could move this worker ant over by sacrificing it. There we go. And it still retains some power on the board too. And we'll bust out this Memphis cat. We absolutely have to. It looks like we can put the fire. I wish that hitting the bait buckets counted towards damage. It's so tough with those sharks um, being waterborne and all. Well, dare I get another millworm? Hmm. I guess so. Why not? I see a sacrifice up there. And there's a pronghorn, so we could get that. Have bees within applying for it. I think I'll do that so that we have something a little bit more powerful. Powerful overall. And a sigil swap. Hmm. Or a duplicate card. I guess I could duplicate our Mantis God. And that way we could get us one as super nice sigils on it um if we're careful here this increases our odds of having more john in our hand anyways oh a zero and a one oh, that's lame almost makes me want to sacrifice it out of spite and of course that's the one i draw on my first turn wow all right Bees within, porcupine, and a wild bull just running at us. That's not good. Can get us a ringworm down, and that could take out the bull on its next turn. So let's go with that. We're gonna lose the right, wild bull should be taken out now. So let's see. that was our main problem and we should be okay from now on and almost get a pronghorn on but not quite we'll use the millworm when the time's right okay it's going to hit in two directions so i think we do want to put it here Squirrel to uh, block some damage. Okay. Let's see. Well, I 
this will just continue to block some damage over here. We need our Ponghorn to uh, keep moving, I think. Now we got us a B. Bees. And another Millworm. So we could buff up a B here in a moment. That'd be pretty funny. Okay, we just need to uh, keep going with what we have, though. Worker ant. Hmm. We well, can buff it up, so that's good. However, we need to have some other situation here. Um, I don't think so. We can use bees for a while now. Thanks to our pronghorn helping us. It's going to be a slow recovery, but I think that we're going to get there now. Alright, made this about time. Worked on destroying it first for unleashing our Mantis God. That's okay. We've got enough to uh, turn this around now. Turn the flying in. Good. I need to get items. I think I'm a bit of a liability right now without having any items to help us here. Another mealworm. What a weird situation this is. I think I better sacrifice one. They're kind of polluting my deck at this point. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do it. It's too much. Could have an uber pronghorn. I could get multiple. I guess Punhorn takes only two, so I could have two of the morsel, eat two of the morsels for it. I have an Uber Ant here as well. I could block our first Moose Buck attack. But I don't have but just the one, so I have to do something like put it over here, I guess. And uh, save up for our next attack. our pronghorn so we could get bees within but the moose buck is going to kill it in one hit we can get it running away from the moose buck though i'm not sure if they'll connect so i'm just gonna play a little bit quickly here we'll see how it turns out should have interpreted the positioning of our mole there. Oh well, that's what you get for moving too quickly. Um, let's see. kind of want to go to the fire, considering a sigil swap though. But I don't have a really good spot to put anything. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything good there, so let's go to the fire instead. Alright, I think it, it's going to take the Dire Wolf. We have enough millworms to sacrifice, and the prospect of putting it on one of the uh, other cards is pretty good. So it could buff the Mantis God once and likely be okay. So let's do that. Now we have two mantis gods, um, which is pretty good, you know, period. So let's uh, roll with it. All right, turkey vulture that has this a uh, moose tail, and get flying ant down, do some damage. Um, not much, of course, but gotta slow down that turkey vulture. We can get worker ant out. And that gets us four on the board. Okay. That 
might be just enough to overcome the situation that's unfolding here. Okay, ring worm. It's not going to do much good here. Let's try to get past this turkey vulture onslaught, though. Um, I can take a chunk out of the turkey vulture. At least make it move out of the way. Another hit our flying ant. But it's airborne too, so I gotta keep that in mind. Alright, we could get us a buff dire wolf. So, let's see, worker ant. It's gonna hit that and then get tail. Um, I think we have just the right amount of cards here that it's not gonna matter. I don't like that the ravens transform though. That's plus five. Alright. So I think we can get our tire wolf down now. And we could seek out the turkey vulture to kill it. Um, however, I think going after the raven may make more sense. This will cancel it out. I kind of hate to sacrifice anything though to get our dire wolf. Perhaps the porcupine? We hit it twice, so. Um, so they're going to do five in our current state. We're going to do four. That's a little bit of a downswing overall, so it's not good. Um, but we could get the dire wolf here, and that'll be four and six. Alright, I think that that's what we need to do. God. Well, we will lose it right away. I think that I've already played myself out of this match. Let's see. Five, six damage. Yep, I'm out. <laughs> oh, not a good deal there. Wow. Oh, wow. Lost both my candles already. I've got a really think on this. I think that if this had been any of the earlier runs um, using the um, this pack would be easy, but more difficult. It's so hard, and let me just look one more time. Um, I think I'm going to have to do something like this. Like This has got to be easier than more difficult. Cause I think that's what's ramping up, is that it just gets so hard in comparison to just having the totems on. So I think that next stream, that's what I'm going to try is I'm going to stick with this. It looks like it's just a better situation overall. Okay. Well, this has been S tier rank. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S tier rank live replay on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good day.